What's up my Pongyos, Andy with Any Vlogs, excited to share with you guys this content here guys. As the title suggests, we're going to be going over a heavy duty case born from the folks at Armadillo Tech. Now this is going to be your rugged, heavy duty, thick, reinforced case that's going to protect your iPad in the event of a mishap. Now I currently am sporting here this uh, off-brand folio, which I found to be really nice, but the problem is, is the folio connects you know via magnets and so it comes off it doesn't necessarily provide you any kind of security when it's out when it's closed here you have a little bit of padding but even then it can actually come out from the case because it's magnetic this is a very expensive device and so i wanted to get myself here an armor tech product for a full enclosure so i can protect my ipad when i give it to my daughter give it to my son to use during the summer with that said before we jump into this just know here from the folks that armadillo tech did reach out to me and provide this to me complimentary but this is not sponsored so my review is certainly my own Nonetheless, down below in the links to the description will be product pricing availability with affiliate links that will help out the channel, so know where that bias is. The case born from Armadillo Tech includes a full enclosure, screen protector, as well as heavy duty case on the back. It's built with a stand so it can set up both directions, landscape and horizontal, and comes with a five layer protection that's tougher than tough, providing you a screen protector, area to put your Apple pen, extra soft foam, hybrid back cover, and thick polycarbonate material to ensure that your device is protected in the event of a fall. Okay, here's the case before we install it here. Made of hard polycarbonate and silicone edging here, which I think is nice. You've got uh, a few things that I can already notice. It's very, very thick and rugged on the back. You've got this really, really nice foam core. Around the edges here, you've got this uh, tooling here that allows it to be gripped if you have hands wide enough to be able to. Otherwise, on every direction here, you're going to be able to hold it with two hands with no problem. The front case is made out of a plasticky material that, uh, you know, will provide some what of a protection against scratches but uh, not necessarily punctures. You do have that groove here for your pencil, which I'll demonstrate here. And you got this fastening clipping mechanism to be able to place it together to create that clamshell full enclosure. On the backside here, again, it's very, very rugged. You've got this really, really cool high technology kind of feeling in the back with this stand that locks into place, which I appreciate here that can be placed uh, both horizontally and vertically in the event that you want to place it as a desk buddy here. You've got grooves enough here for the buttons, the side here, the camera, the bottom for the speaker and the input. Getting a little bit closer here, you can see the materials are high quality. Tooling is done to precision. You can see that it, uh, it'll grip and grab all the way around the case and provide you that comfort and satisfaction here knowing that in the event of a fall, it's gonna be protected or at least reduce the chances of, of a mishap when that happens. Okay, I'm gonna take it out of its folio here and uh, you kind of just line it up with uh, the camera bump here and you just place it right in there. It's gonna fit just nicely like that. And now it does, you know, when you place it initially in here, it's not really, it can kind of move around because you have this area for your pencil. However, once you place it in, it's gonna snap it into place here. Okay, the way that you install it is gonna be placing it here in uh, the screen protector first. I'm gonna do it face down. It kind of clips right in, fits right there snug. As you can see, there's no impedance, there's no issue. You've got cutouts here for your different sensors, which I think is a nice touch. Then let's go ahead now and place it in to the case itself, the enclosure itself. It's a little tricky here, but I think the easiest way to do it here is from this corner, and then you just kinda snap it all together by wrapping the enclosure around the pen section, snapping it right into place. Once you've done that here, then it's supposed to wrap all the way around this edge. You're gonna have to kinda finesse it, giving you that seamless full enclosure here. All right, there it is. If you wanna know where you're gonna be peeling it off, uh, you're gonna be putting it right here on the corner on this edge. That's how you're gonna be able to pull it off. I don't have necessarily an Apple Pencil here, but I've got a third party that I've worked with in the past, and it fits just perfectly right here in the spot right above uh, the, the plate here. 
You can press it out by just pushing it here where this groove is, but uh, there it is. There you have it. Getting a little bit closer here, you can see that seam here where it connected the case with the screen protector. Pencil fits just fine right there. You can see the speaker grill still exposes it. Nice grips around the edges. Buttons are nice and clicky. The top button for top button for the fingerprint reader still reads just fine and leaves you a space here to be able to pull it out and have no problem. Putting the cat back on there, it fits a little more snug as well. You can see the camera bump is uh, is definitely protected here while still being able to maintain um, you know its ability to take pictures the stand is very high quality and robust it's going to be able to help you place it where you need to and the best part is that you can still write on it even despite it being there you can still write on it even despite it being held up like that in both directions you still have the ability to use it in those two different viewing angles i love that this is a nice tablet i mean this is a great stand i mean look at that now i do have a screen protector on top of the screen protector here so it is a little less responsive but that's not because of the screen it's because of having a glass and an extra screen protector so you can see it's still being able to pull uh, any of my touches, I'm still able to draw and write on it if I want to add an effect. Screenshots here, I can draw on top of it if I want. I can draw right on top of the screenshot. has no problem using the different directions. It still has the ability to, to detect that input, whether I'm going straight on top of it or I'm going to the side. All right, my pony as well. The case from Armadillo Tech really speaks for itself. I think this is a fantastic addition to your guys' lifestyle. If you're the kind of person that, uh, you know, is prone to dropping these devices or you've got kids, that you don't trust like I do, I highly recommend that you get yourself the case born here from the folks at Armadillo Tech. With that said, guys, they did provide this to me complimentary, so you know where my bias is, but this is not a sponsored video. As you can see, this is something that I am passionate about, and I think that this is fantastic. The iPad Mini Generation 6 is a fantastic tool that you guys can use, and I highly recommend that you protect it with something like this. Down below in the links in the description will be the product pricing and availability for all of the different products we showed here, especially the case born here. If you guys are interested, check that out. Otherwise, hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more. My name is Andy with Andy Vlogs, signing out.